Yes, I think one of the big questions for the field is uh, why do 60% of the patients fail after CD19 CAR T cell therapy? So, no, so when we started looking at mechanisms of resistance or relapse in these patients and started analyzing the tumor biopsy set progression, we found that approximately up to two-thirds of these uh, patients at progression can have CD19 antigen loss in the tumor. So, so that's a very high number and obviously one way to further improve the efficacy in these patients is to target more than one antigen. And there are many other antigens that are currently being explored to try and target um, uh, in the B-cell lymphomas, including CD20, CD22, CD79B, BAF receptor. Um, at this meeting, there are some bispecific CARs or dual specific CARs with CD19 and CD22 that, are, uh, that have been evaluated in lymphomas as well as leukemias that are uh, being uh, presented. So I think in the future, to further improve the efficacy of, uh, of CAR T-cell therapy, um, in lymphomas, one may need to use uh, multi-specific cars. Now, another issue for the field is the cost of this therapy. Um, so, one way to reduce the cost of therapy is to develop off-the-shelf allogenic car products. And, and uh, those, at least the early data looks promising, although most of the data is available only in the leukemia patients at this time.